with all of this technology that is happening, the human race, certain people have become so prideful of themselves, boastful of themselves, that look at us, technology has advanced, the medical field has advanced, science has advanced, look, we can create this and we can do this, we are God. Yet they are nothing but a piece of dust. One little virus. That's it, you're finished. Stephen Hawkins, the greatest physicist the world had seen so far. He remained in a wheelchair, fully paralyzed from head to toe. The only thing that was functioning in Mr. Stephen Hawkins, the greatest physicist, was the, the, the cords, the vocal cords. They were the only things functioning. Look at the Lord, how awesome He is, how fair and just He is. Stephen Hawkins tried. He had a big, he had a big head, not a mind that can weigh the whole world. And he tried to prove through physics how this universe came about. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know, I laugh, but out of, out of sadness and frustration. I laugh, I laugh at such educated people, yet so ignorant, so ignorant. Do you think with your little tiny intellect, you piece of dust, you can come to this truth, who created the universe? Are you serious? And this goes to every young man and woman at high school and university levels. If any lecturer comes, I don't care what their credentials are, what their qualifications are, and I'm saying it out of, out of love and respect, but the truth must be said. Any lecturer comes and says nonsense and says that this universe came into existence because there was a big bang over 13 billion years ago. Say your grandpa is waiting for you at Taronga Zoo. It is that monkey jumping on the tree. So next time you go there, you throw him a banana and say, G'day grandpa. Look, I've said it before. Just our DNA. Just our DNA. Look at God, the awesomeness of God. The awesomeness of Jesus Christ, who is God, revealed in the flesh. Every human's DNA. There is almost 8 billion people living on the planet as we speak. Just the human DNA. It is made out of 3.1 billion bits of information. 3.1 billion bits of information. If I were, if we were to convert those 3.1 billion bits of information into an A4 page paper, A4 page paper with 500 words per page, it would take me 600,000 pages to write your DNA, my dear friend. 600,000 pages, 500 words per page on an A4 size paper. With all this awesomeness, 8 billion almost people living, no one's fingerprint is identical to the next. You're telling me a Big Bang, you Big Bang? What Big Bang? Your head is a Big Bang. 